Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome to the first episode of What the Fick for 2023. My name is Ian Cully, and this is where you'll find up-to-date coverage of fixed income commodity and currency markets throughout the week, every week. So let's kick the year off with the US dollar. Now, it was a big story last year, and I believe that trend persists into the first months and quarters of the new year, especially considering seasonality. Let's check the charts. Now, first up, we have the average monthly performance of the US dollar index going back to 1980. So we've got about 42 years of data here. And January is by far the best month for the dollar. And we're actually entering a very strong seasonal period over the next three months. So this isn't a, a, a trade signal, but what it does is it puts the market into context, right? Now we understand that there are seasonal tailwinds for the dollar. So when we look at a price chart, like this monthly candlestick chart of the US dollar index, it really highlights that we could see a bounce in the dollar, right? So DXY pulling back to a critical shelf of former highs, right? That 2016 peak, the 2020 peak. So this 103 level is a logical level to see the dollar dig in at the very least, right? It should stop going down, which it has. Now, whether or not we'll see a bounce, who knows? But based on seasonality, based on this critical shelf of former highs, this is neither the place nor the time to press US dollar shorts. There's something to think about. If you enjoyed the video, click the link below, read the article. If you have any questions, please reach out at info at All Star Charts. We love hearing from you. And you can always follow along at Ian Cully on Twitter. Thanks for watching and have a great new year.